All right. I just need to share this to social media, and then we can start the stream. Hopefully, start it soon. I'll start reading comic books. Please be sure to follow me. I'll help me reach verification. I'm gonna post this to. I'm gonna be posting this on my Twitter. Alright, so we're going to start off with The Incredible Hulk, Issue 2. Okay. Let's try that again. It's just not working right. Okay. There it goes. I actually had to go th to my downloads just to get to the comic book. The Credible Hulk. The terror, terror of the Toad Men. General, it's them. The Toad Men. They're, they're attacking. It is too late for you, for the humans, to stop us now. Nothing can stop us. Nothing except the Hulk. Starring the Hulk. The Terror of the Toad Men. Part 1. Enter the Toad Men. Like a savage marauding monster from some mad night nether world, the frightening figure of the Hulk suddenly appears from out, out of the murky swamp, and our mind staggering adventure begins. Stanley and Jack Kirby. I thought I heard some, something come crashing through the underbrush. Better see who. Who. Oh no! No, it's the Hulk. He's still alive. I've got to make it to town. Got to warn the others. Get it off the streets. Lock the doors. The Hulk is alive. The Hulk. He's headed this way. Quick, Bobby! Hurry, hurry, Tommy. Inside, hurry, hurry. The streets are empty. It looks like a ghost town, except for the troopers. Listen to that heavy, horrible thund thundering. It's coming closer. It must be him. There he is. It's the Hulk. Put, put, put the truck in high gear and ram it right into him. Now. It, It's like hitting a brick wall. Here comes the troopers. They've got it. They'll, they'll get him. Hold on. Hold on to him. Throw him crash through the barrier. Hold him. How? Look out! Back! Get back! There's no stopping him. But it, then, just when it looks as though the entire town is about to be shattered to, to a demonical might of the Hulk, one small figure breaks free of the troopers and cries, Hulk, it's me, Rick Jones! Hulk, listen to me! So slowly, dangerously, the giant menace turns and... Uh, Every fiber of his being still aches to lash out, to smash, and destroy. That's it, Hulk. Easy. Take it easy. Follow me. I'll lead you to safety. But as the two dramatic figures fade into darkness, let us go back a few weeks. For the benefit of those who missed the previous issue of the Hulk, let us briefly explain how he came to be. Run, you young, you young fool. The gamma ray bomb is about to explode. Huh? What are you talking about, mister? Rick Jones, a rebellious teenager, had accidentally entered the, the, an atomic testing area at the final seconds of the countdown 
And then, in an effort to save the boy, Dr. Bruce Banner, famous scientist in charge of the test, had hurled Rick to safety, only to catch the full impact of the mysterious gamma rays himself. By a, by a seeming miracle, Dr. Banner was brought back to the base, still alive. He knew that deep inside of him, something had changed. And the change first showed himself, itself an hour later as the self, the sunset and darkness fell. Oh, what, what's wrong, Doc? Ah! For the fall of the darkness was destined to bring with it the strangest phenomenon of all time. At the close of close of day, Doctor Bruce Banner turned into the Hulk. Where Dr. Bruce Banner had been gentle, the Hulk was a brute. Where Br Banner had been civilized, the Hulk was a savage. Where Banner was a man, the Hulk was a monster. A monster of superhuman strength. Due to the gamma rays which cut course through his mighty, his mighty frame. But with the coming of dawn, the thing that was the Hulk vanished, vanished and Bruce Banner returned to normal. Knowing that he was destined forever to be two people, of by day a mild-mannered intellectual, by night the most dangerous menace the world has ever known. You must leave me, Rick. When I am the Hulk, I can't control myself. I don't want you to be my victim when when night falls. Not a chance, Doc. You saved my life once, and I'm sticking till the end. Besides, you're going to need me. Because when you're the Hulk, every human on Earth will be on the, they ought, we ought to destroy you. You're right, boy. There will be no place for me to hide. No place to turn. It, it will be the Hulk against all mankind. And now, back to the present evening. Present even. even I mean, present. Even as Rick Jones leads the Hulk away from town, he has... Pillaged an unearthly spacecraft, thunder thunders into our solar system, propelled by a magnetic source of power far beyond our comprehension of, of human beings. The Toad Men have come. We are within sight of our objective. Switch on the magnetic grippers as you command, sire. Traveling at incre incredible speed. Twin beams of sheer magnetic energy strike the unsuspecting Earth, drawn to their target by a scientific far advanced than our own. It is a it is done. Our grapplers have first focused on the most brilliant scientist brain on Earth, according to our our command. Let us land and seize him. We shall easily force him to tell us how far advanced the primitive earthly sciences are, then we shall be able to c accurately prepare for our mass attack. The magnetic mind de de detector will lead us straight to our victim. What chance do the many earthlings have against our invincible magnetic powers? At that moment, Bruce Banner and Rick Jones are interested as they set out to Perform a strange task. It's General Thunderbolt, Ross, and his daughter Betty. Bruce, I've been so worried about you ever since the Hulk, Hulk escaped. Humph. No need to worry about him. That milk sop will find a safe way to hide whatever danger threatens. Don't mind him. Don't mind Dad, Bruce. He has no respect for anybody who isn't a military man. Benny, you know I'm a scientist, not a man of action. As far as for the Hulk, I've told you you need you wouldn't you needn't worry about me. He wouldn't waste time trying to hurt a milksop like me. Wait, where are you going with all that equipment? Off to the conduct a little scientific research. See you when we return. I'll never understand what you see in, in a weakling like him, Betty. 
I wish I had the gold brick in my division. I had that gold brick in my division. But then Thunderbolt Ross would would, would have changed his opinions sharply if he knew Bruce, of Bruce Banner's real destination. This is it, Rick. It's a lonely underground cave. I discovered it'll be perfect for our purpose. Gosh, John, what if, what if this doesn't work? It'll work. It's got to work, Rick. It's got to. This is a natural outscrub under under the lake. It's like an indestructible fortress. It is powerful enough to withstand any assault. So let us hope it will be strong enough to imprison the Hulk each night. But Doc, you can't walk yourself in, in here every night for the rest of your life. I've got to, Rick, until I find a way to stop him from changing into the Hulk. But now let's test the door. I've arranged the balances so that you, your one easy push will roll it into, into place. It's solid concrete, ten feet thick. Even the Hulk won't be able be able to break out of here. There, we've, we've checked it at, checked it, in, and, and it works. Now it's up to you, Rick. Each, each day at at twilight, you've got to lock me in here, and I'll release you every morning. And don't worry, Doc. I'll never let it let, let you down. But suddenly, unexpectedly, at the very that very instant. An eerie weary wine fills the dank undersea chamber, and the two st startled men are hurled backwards like feathers in a gale. Whoosh! Rick, something is pinning us into the wall, something of unmeasurable magnetic power. It, but what? Doc, look. In the shadows ahead, coming towards us, they, they look like giant giant human toads. Part 2. Prisoners of the Toad Men. Do not struggle and you will not be injured yet. You are the powerless against our magnetic ray guns. Hope was in the grip of the strange magnetic ray. Bruce and Rick are taken from their underground chamber to the interior of the nearby spaceship and floated inside like so much limp baggage. You, we have captured the greatest mind on, on Earth, as we have planned. Now blast off. Let us seek safety in orbit around Earth. Meanwhile, inside the mighty ship, Doc, who are they? What are where are they? What's happening to us? We're in free fall, Rick. Greetings, captives. I am. Tarok, captain of the ship, you are my prisoners. We are the Toad Men from outer space. Inside your atmosphere, the main body of our invincible fleet awaits to attack Earth. But first, we, we want to learn how advanced you are scientifically, and that is what you will tell us. You are you dare not refuse for my command. Our many impulsion rays can make entire make entire Earth cities fly off into the, to space in the wink of an eye. With the incredible power of the magnetic force at our command, we can empty your oceans. By reversing our magnetic force, we can root, root your people to the ground, making them unable to move. So will you tell me what I wish to know, or... Never, no matter how you thr how you threaten. Atta boy, Doc, don't let the, that, that, that cat scare you. I must I'll witness stripling. We have no need of you. It's the other's brain we require. As for you, back to your miserable planet. Of a powerful exceeding any known on Earth, at a flick of a finger, the Toad Men... The Toad Man hurls Rick Jones back to Earth as a magnetically guided plastic escape glider. He landed safely, but what of the Earth? What chances do 
do we have against a race with such fantastic magnetic powers? Wait, what? Wait, we're reaching the dark side of the earth. It's becoming night. Don't let it happen again. Not, not now. Please, not now. No, no. Uh, what? Um, where am I? Why am I locked in here? Meanwhile, now the boy is gone. It will be easier to handle than the human. Let us return to his chamber and force him to talk. By now, the human should be willing to do tell us anything. He, he should what? What matter of creature is this? No matter, destroy it. You dare attack the Hulk? Now taste, you taste the sting of your weapon. With external force, the melee stun gun scatters the toadmen like t ten pens. Like a child carrying ragdolls, the powerful Hulk hurls the aliens into a windowless chamber in the ship, and then I will walk you in here while I take control of the ship. These weapons, they make our army arm, arms look like pea shooters. This fine drag not under me, I can, I can wire out of all mankind. Now the Hulk will be the hunter instead of the hunted. Meanwhile, miles, miles below at U.S. anti-missile base. If you rare shows an unidentifying object above us, shoot it down, man. What do you think we're here for? Within seconds, America's mightiest defense rockets are ordered as fantastically set sensitive electrons devices aimed right at the Toadman's ship. Three seconds, two seconds, one. While on... Well, 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 while one lone teenage figure badly tries to stop the deadly hunt, hunter missiles. Oh no, Dr. Banner is aboard that ship. The ship. They've got to stop. Don't fire. Don't. But the burner cry of the boy can't halt America's mice defense weapons as they are rise like silent Avengers into the awesome summer space. Within striking range of the spaceship, they drop their booster back to Earth as the mighty warheads zero in on their target. And then the dead, the dread moment is on in, of impact. Like a wounded hawk, the ship plunges to the Earth as an unearthly frame up saves the occupied from instant death by cushioning the fall. Surround the ship, that ship, still off the area. Move. This may be the biggest victory we have ever achieved. I want an iron cur condor uh, through the air, er, thrown around the ship. Part 3 The Hulk, Bruce Banner wanted for treason. But as the smoke clears, one wolf figure emerges from the shoulder, smoldering wreckage, the wreckage which has fallen on the, that part of the earth in which it is still daylight, no longer mistaken from the Hulk. It is once again the figure of the normal human being. It, it's Dr. Bruce Banner. So it was you trying to sneak or attack on your, your own country. Eh? You'll never talk... Talk your way out of this, this, Mister. I've take take him away, men. Meanwhile, before the troops can manage to surround the airship, the the toadmen un, unharmed, unharmed by the cushioned crash, practically use their weapons to silently bust a hole to the earth beneath them. Hurry before the earthlings discover us. Looks as though Bender handled the ship as. This handled the ship all by himself. He must have. He, he, he must have. There's no sign of, of any other life. Once safely away from the armed guard, the Tobin emerged and then, bringing out the music where there's no time to lose. The forces must be striking now. 
there is there is a single player to attack Earth. Moments are in the maximum security prison. Take it easy, Rick. There's no nothing you can do do for me now. But Doc, there these Joes don't understand. They can't call you a traitor for for for, for they can't they can't call you a traitor, not you. Doc, as soon as it gets dark, the Hulk can can bust out of this joint easy enough, can't he? Perhaps, Rick, but there is no unpredictable He's so unpredictable. He might be better off in the darkness. Never, never, if darkness never came. Well, I said the court, concrete prison. I want a twenty-four guard around banner. Understand, soldier? Yes, General Ross. Nothing he ever human can ever can escape from here. But General Thunderbolt Ross can't rest, rest easy when after reaching his home, Dad. You can't really think Bruce Banner is a traitor. It's impossible. I don't know what to think, Betty. All I know is he buzzed this continent in a strange, powerful ship with no warning and no uh, authorization. It's up to Washington now to decide his fate. Now, bring... What's that? Invasion and in Armada spaceships? Where? How? Come? Keep calm, man. Sound the, the real word. I'm on my way. Dad, if, if the Earth is in danger, we'll need Bruce Banner. We'll need his knowledge, his brains. At the very moment, traveling at incredible speed, the mightiest spaceship force ever seen on Earth strikes across the skies, throwing the entire planet into a state of uncontrollable panic. Suddenly, the powerful magnetic pulse jams everything, TV and radio, discovered as the face of the Toad King appears on screens from Brooklyn to Bangkok. Heed my words, puny earthlings, for I am your master. Even now, my invincible forces control the skies above your planet as they prepare to launch the greatest threat you can imagine. Part 4 Hulk Ruin Runs Amok. Within seconds, our might, our fleet shall be in position to hurl all. Its mighty magnet powers at at your moon, causing it to leave your its orbit and spin ever closer to your helpless Earth. Each day, each hour, every each minute that comes closer, it will it will cause more destruction to your primitive world. Your coastal cities will will be flooded by mile high tides, waves as bit by bit your ca captive planet will crumble beneath you. Until the final moment when the the hurtling of the moon causes all the Earth to be hurled to its normal orbit into the destruction or current of outer space. Even as I speak, the moon is starting to drift closer. And closer to you, prodded by the force of my, of our map, matchless magnetic rays, there is nothing, nothing you can do to stop us. See how the tides are beginning to rise in your seacoast cities. Can you feel it? Can you sense the beginning of the end of of your, of end for mankind? Soon, our very your very buildings will will start to crumble. As the crust of the earth crackles and, sw and swell swells under the unbearable pressure of the moon's promiscuity, and there there is still no one to save yourselves. The the way for us to retrieve our magnetic rays, and that is by announcing the complete surrender of the planet Earth. Never, we'll never surrender. We'll beat them. We'll beat them somehow. We'll have to save. We'll have to save Earth for mankind. Meanwhile, in the lonely bar barren cell, our one figure is all but forgotten. Uh, as Earth seems to tremble in its final death thrones, one lone figure who grims grips the iron bars as he watches the the gathering. 
twilight being began to creep over the, the countryside. No, I can feel it. My throat grows tight. My head is throbbing. A black haze seems to be covering my brain. I'm changing. Heaven help me. I, I can no longer stop it. No longer control myself. I... Uh... And there in the cell, unannounced by the human eyes, unannounced by the human eyes, the Hulk again appears. Especially through the, through the concrete wall, the steer bars, as though they were cardboard, he launches it out, out into the, the open. Look, it's the Hulk. Hurry, water, water on fire. He's ripping a rail out of, the, out of those tracks before this startled attorney men can bring their weapons into play. The most awesome creature on earth lumbers towards them like a living battering ram. Nothing, run, nothing can to hold him. And a short distance away, nothing, another pair of alert eyes stare in disbelief. Do, do you see what I see? He's, he, he's coming towards us. Jump for your life. Buddy, you don't have to, have to tell me twice. Let's get out of here. We've got to warn General Ross. General, he mocked me in a cell. He is my enemy. I must find him. Find him. Must find General. Here, this is his house. Is that you, Dad? Oh no! Help! Help! It's it's my daughter. The Hulk must be must have appeared again. Attack! You won't escape us this time. Break down the door! Hurry! We'll take we'll take care of that overgrown girl once and for all. Woof! Taking no chance. Thunderbolt Ross orders a charging tank to smash through the rear of the house. Faster, every second counts. Move me through. You guys gotta let me through. I'm the uh, one, only one who can reason with him. Seconds later, Toad Men and the Earth invasions are momentarily forgotten as the Hulk and his pursuers stand face to face and and Des Destiny seems to hold her breath, waiting for the next faithful move. Hold her fire. You might hit my daughter. Don't shoot. Hit, let, let him go. Let me go to him. Wait. Don't shoot. Let me go to him. Hulk, Hulk, it's, it's me, Rick, your friend. Hulk has no friends. Now, now's our chance. Get him. Part 5, The End of the Hulk. Stanley and Jack Kirby. And then moving with incredible speed for one so huge. The Hulk shifts, lifts one, one side of the wooden building as though it was it is a paper box and... Stop him, get it. What's, he's getting away. Too many men got to get get away take you as hostage oh, no no then before the stumble fight fighting men and can marshal their fake forces again the lumbering giant and his prisoner soon lose themselves in the gloom of everything but one small figure separates separates from the others as Rick Jones follows a hunch Wow, he must be taking her to Bruce Banner's lab. And then the boy is right. Who are you? Why why do you hate hate us so hate you? Why shouldn't I hate you? Why shouldn't I hate all mankind? Look what men have done to me. They will know they will harm me no longer, for now the Hulk will fight back on my own terms. And at that very instant, Hulk, stop! Don't listen to me! Stop! Don't listen to me! You, this time I sound you forever. Wait! You've got to listen. You need the Earth. It is. 
Earth is in danger. You've got to help. You've got to, to understand. And even as Rick Marthko pleads with the thing that confronts him, even as the Hulk gets closer and closer throughout the land, more and more Earth quakes and, and up uphill begins to take their toll. But we can know we can never know whether Rick Jones' words might have saw the mighty Hulk for the occupants of the small cottage are suddenly flowing off balance as a violent earth from strikes. So the dazed boy picks up himself up in a and the massive form of the Hulk is still motionless as the first faint rays of daylight break bathed in their eerie glow as the Harsh, brutal figure begins to soften and change. And how finally, Doc, what a, what a relief at that. It, I was done for that time for sure. Give me a, leave my glasses, Rick, and then I'll tell, you, tell me quickly what happened. I, I can't remember. It's like a, an ugly, fading nightmare. Quickly, exciting teenager relates the fantastic events of the previous night and... Then, she's still unconscious. Perhaps it's better this way. She can't know I, my terrible secret. She'll be safe here now, as safe as anyone can be in this beautiful world. Doc, we gotta hurry. There's no time to. There's lots to do. Here, she'll come to soon. We'll let her rest on the couch. What about us, Doc? What What do we? What do we do next? What about the Toad Men? If you, if you can't stop them, nobody can. There's only one chance, Rick. They dr they derive all their power by harnessing the force of magnetic energy. If only that energy can be turned against them. Follow me. You've got to get to to the gamma ray gun. It was the powerful of the gamma rays that turned me into the Hulk. No one can predict what their effect could be on the field of magnetic energy, perhaps. The gamma gun. The, the invention, sure. Your invention, sure. I, I should have thought of that. I'll need about 60 seconds to activate it. It's going to be close, Doc. I hear your voices outside now. They ran in here, General. Open a banner. We know you're there. The Hulk escaped, escaped us, but you won't, you won't. I swear it. I've got to hold them off. I just, just, just another few seconds. I've got to stay out. You don't know what you're doing. Give him another few seconds, thud. Stay back. I warned you. It's open. Get. And then before anyone can make another move, the magnetic weapon is fired and a mind struggling burst of blast blasting light is hurled at its charge at shared gamma energy across the thousands of miles which lead to the fleet of the toad men. Gamma energy which strikes the alien and the field head on, reversing the attraction of their rays and sending the toad men ships spinning across the void the void of space Helplessly out of control forever. And with with the fading of the magnetic force, the moon again resumes with its natural orbit as the grateful earth returns to normal. Earth tremors have stopped. Tom Fleet is gone. We were saved. Saved. Then since no one dares call the man who saved Earth a traitor, Bruce Banner and Rick are released just before, just before the fall of night and at the home of General Ross. I told you could trust Bruce's dad, Humph. Even though he managed to clear himself this time, I'm still suspicious of him. I still feel there's something in connection with him and that dang blasted Hulk. Well, we know he, he and the Hulk are together right now, pointing our devilment. Oh, Dad. Yes, Bruce Banner and the Hulk are together, but not the way Thunderbolt thinks. For at that moment, in a gloomy dungeon beneath the sea, the Hulk pounds vently at the at a ten feet 
thick concrete wall as Rick Jones says a silent prayer waiting waiting for the next break of day which will bring their next adventure fantastic, next fantastic adventure the end that was pretty good Now I'm going to read um, Shonen Jump, Emperor and I, chapter 16 and 16.5. The Emperor and I, chapter 16. Emperor and Summer. Slit. With this molting finally over, Emperor is all back to normal. New feathers. He's no longer panting from the heat. And he, his appetite is back. They're back to the way they were before, but now it's summer, just before the start of summer break. When it used to be an occasional shower, it's now a daily event. Thrill, thrill, thrill. Ugh, I'm home so hot. Gotta shower. <laughs> She's showering. Ah, uh, tap, 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 tap. Huh? Ah, Emperor, don't break down the door. I'll give you a shower afterward. Are you angry that I took one first? Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, so I think I'd better... I'd, I'd, I'd be better to go before break, break starts. Huh? Kosuke said he can't make it, so it's just... Be us two. Yeah. They should they should be shoes. Shoes you can use at the beach. Okay, see you then, Thud. Only ice packs. What was an ice packs? We don't like the like so. You you'll have to have make this with make do with this when you no one's home. You're really taken to that. Chop. I know the food pack is full is too full. I can't put anything else in. Sorry, I can't help it. It's so hot. He, he I'm not getting any breeze. Uh, Emperor Penguin is like uh, hogging hogging the fan. And the dad can't get any air. Emperor's cool off, no, off number three, grind, grind, running the surf. Whoa, what you want some too? But this is flavored, so. So she does like she makes her, his, her um, like um, like a snow thing, like um, what the hell do you call that? Um, a slush, not slush, but um. I don't know. We'll just call it slushy. So it's like a slushy, but she instead of adding oh snow cone, that's what it's called. I just remember that snow cone. So it's basically a snow cone, but she added fish to it. Even though I'm the I'm the I'm the one who made it, it looks gross. Oh, he's eating it. Uh... No, don't lie on top of it. It's just because it's cool. Here, it's okay if it's it's in the bathtub. So she's grinding up ice to put it in the bathtub. We're going to go through a lot of ice this summer. You keep missing. The Emperor and I, Chapter 16.5 The Emperor and the King You keep missing. The claws messed up. Grab them all. I got I got this at the arcade the other day. You can have it. The Emperor Penguin. What? There was an Emperor Penguin one? Here you go. Thanks. Oh. Huh? She doesn't seem to be too happy. You, you just don't get it. 
get what? Get that that there. It's an emperor penguin. It's it's a it's a king penguin. A king. Yeah, I thought so. It's a king. Really? They look so alike. I can't tell them apart. They're totally different. Really? Just by comparison to body's measurements, you can see that they're totally different. The yellow part of the deck is not connected. The yellow on, on the part in the as this goes towards the white feathers. White, yellow, emperor, king, yellow, and orange.